so here we have a question about distances between points on a line. So it'll be really helpful for us to have a picture. So let's figure out what order our points go in so we can plot them on a line. We know that point Q is between two points, P and R. We'll leave some space just in case anything needs to go between them. And we have that R is between Q and S. So this is the order our points are going to go in on this line. So let's make the line. So we have, oops, um, we have on our endpoints the points P and S. Cool, so we know that. But we don't know yet where on the line, come on, we don't know where on the line yet Q and R are going to go. So let's try to figure that out. Well, we know that the entire length of this line is 22. And we know that P to R is about 18 divided by 22. That's about three quarters. So right about here, we're going to drop point R. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just going to give us a visualization. Okay. And so now, whoops, we have that P to R is 18. And finally, we need to drop point Q in there. And what do we know about point Q? Well, we know that the distance from P to Q is about the same as the distance from R to S. And R to S has a distance of, well, 22 minus 18 will give us our remaining four, right? This is P, this is R, and this is S. So that means Q, oops, that means that Q must be uh, four away, or we know that Q, yeah, Q must be four away from P. So it'll look a little something like this. So here we have a distance of four. Here we have, well, 18 minus four is 14. And now here we have our remaining four, giving us a sum total of four plus 14 plus four is 18 plus four is 22. So this is what our entire line looks like. And now we can fill in the names and distances on our for realsies line. So here we have four, here we have 14, and here we have four. Now to answer our question, what is the value of QR? Well, sure is nice that we already have it all figured out. 14. Because the distance of the entire line is 22 and the distance from P to R is 18, we know that the remaining chunk is four, that's 22 minus 18. We know that the chunk at the beginning from P to Q is equal to this distance, so that's also four, giving us a remaining distance between the two middle points of P and Q to be 14, which is exactly what the question is asking. There you go.